there is a major biohack for you. A shortcut into the field, back to source, pausing the game of the matrix, pulling you back into your universe and speeding up your manifestation time by aligning your entire body, mind, soul, and ego together. You know the secret to manifestation is integration of the mind, body, soul, or the me, myself, and I. When the me, myself, and I are all laser focused in one direction, you are like a fast moving stream. You are in flow. When your ego is contradicting your desire or your old patterns are contradicting your desire, you're going to have a break in that flow. It's going to feel like it's coming from the outside, but it's actually happening from your own counterintuitive vibration. When the inner child is caught between ego's old patterns of sabotage or um, the need to recreate drama over and over again or recreate old uh, loops because that's what it does, the inner child will most of the time just go into hiding. And when your inner child is hiding or having a timeout or feeling like what's the point or it's not fair, that's how you know, then you are missing out on a huge, huge, huge alignment of your power. Your inner child has a stronger flow and a stronger frequency than your higher self does because your higher self cannot embody here. Or your lower self does because it's so anchored in density that it's slow. Your inner child is the fast moving flow of excitement and joy and uh, a non-judgmental perspective, which means the inner child doesn't care how it happens. The inner child wants everyone to win. The inner child is extremely in desire to share generosity with its manifestation. So it's not a one-sided flow. We want to increase the flow in your bodies. If you have not realized that your manifestations are coming from and with your body, which means it's a co-creation, guys. It's not your mind and the universe. It's literally me, myself, and I. It's my desire to embody. And the embodiment, real desire, is to demonstrate. And the inner child's like always saying, look what I can do. Look what I can do. It wants to share. It wants to shine. And when you do not allow yourself to do those things because of your old patterns, you're creating more dams in your river. And again, like I said, it's going to feel like it's coming from outside of you. If you are having trouble sleeping, if you are not digesting food, if you're still dealing with food sensitivities and allergies and blocks in your money flow, conflicts in your relationships, um, conflicts of your own mind. If you can't hold a vision for three minutes without a monkey mind of, you can't do that. You don't have the money. We've tried that before. Then you have to get integrated with that mind. You cannot ignore it. No delete, all control. Those times are gone. Because now as we begin this journey in 2023, it's either you go with all of you or none of you go because you're not leaving anyone behind when it comes to the alchemy, all of me. So I want to show you a shortcut that I've been using the last few months to really get myself into alignment. You know, I've had a ton of deadlines. I've had a ton of scary scenarios that I didn't have the how, right? I've had, um, I've had more going out than I've had coming in, right? I've had those old patterns show up in relationships. I have had time issues with like, hurry up and wait, right? And and so again, I know I'm at the end of those loops, but how we show up in that loop is, is going to decide how it either recreates and you do it again from a higher state of being, or you give up and just say, screw it, or you actually get an alignment because it's going to keep manifesting over and over. And now that we're in 5D energy, time and space are malleable, which means that it's going to speed up, which means the loops are going to come faster. The problems are going to come bigger, right? The smaller you play, the bigger your problems in 5D. 
Okay. And it's a let go or be dragged at this point. Everyone will begin some type of spiritual journey this year, whether it's a born again Christian or finally getting their self back to a church or, you know, surrendering their soul to the love and light. It doesn't matter really where you are, but the whole entire planet is going to start praying because it's going the hologram for those of, of you who, or those of them who are allowing the mind to be hooked into the virtual simulation, it's going to be a bigger simulation of control coming. This is why letting go of the control of the rules of the matrix of the what's wrong and right out there, you know, what's wrong and right out there is wrong for you sometimes. And, and what's right for you sometimes is wrong out there. So this is your path to becoming a sovereign being. And you're not going to get your ability to raise your vibration as quickly from a practitioner, a middleman, a broker, as you will becoming your own healer and teacher and doctor at this point. And this is why we're opening up apothecaries that are training facilities all over the world that are going to honor the past natural medicine, the present medicine, and the future of medicine. This is where you're going to come and learn. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our power back. We're going to unplug from the matrix. We're going to use our divine power of not only our mind, brain, our heart, brain, and our gut brain. We're going to access DMT in our lungs, and we're going to open up our flow. Our three-foot field is going to become about 12 feet when you're done with this process. Your fingertips, your nose, your belly, your heart will be tingling and beating. We want the, the outcome of this particular vibration is for you to become your own how. This is the number one question I get. How, 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 how? And really, you are the how. When you are taking back your breath, you are saying, I am creator. When you say, I am, you are saying, I'm creator. When you are questioning, you're handing over your power. So at the understanding of our quantum two point, that we are both the problem and the solution, then we have to realize that we have created the problem simultaneously because we are dualistic in nature until we become non-dualistic. We've also created the solution in non-physical reality. Now, our job is almost like a dog that's playing catch with itself, right? Throwing it and it's going back and getting it. This is kind of what you're doing. This actually looked fun before you came here. And then you forgot you created the solution. You forgot you were source energy. You forgot you were infinite wisdom and power. You forgot you were the quantum field of everything. And you began to give your power away and create walls around yourself to protect you and defend yourself from the matrix, simultaneously needing the matrix for your own survival. So right there is your catch 22. That's what you were working through last year. This year is when you're like, oh, got it. Now you have to pump source energy back into your body because it's rusty. The pipes are all right. And your ability to channel source energy is not only your birthright, it's really all you are is a channel. Even when you're in your ego, you're channeling your lower self. So this idea of a quantum two point, which I've taught the two point publicly before, but this one is the 2.0 2023 version, right? It's, it's a, it's a deeper impact. It's going to create less mind in this and more embodiment because your blood is electromagnetic. You are a magnet. You are creating whether you think you are or not. You just might be creating loops and patterns, and then you might be buying into the fact that that's just what you manifest, when all you have to do is take back your universe, become the center of your universe, take responsibility for creating the problem, and allowing and surrendering to the solution, and in your zero point, which is your own neutral frequency of love that is located right here in your heart chakra. Your heart chakra isn't good or bad or dark or light. It's neutral. It's source energy. It's win-win. It's 
conflict and resolution. It's problem and solution. It's desire and embodiment and demonstration. It is no wishy-washy energy in there, which is what we're going to do is we are going to wash those problems away. Now, I have included a breath work into my two point. And this is when I saw literally 30 minutes after I did this, I saw manifestations. Matter of fact, I attracted $3,000 into a, a PayPal account from an old, old client that never paid that said part of her resolution or something was to pay all her debts. I didn't even remember it. And it came through and it wasn't expected. And it was an abundance, which means it wasn't like, oh, I needed this. It was like, oh, play, right? So you'll notice that if you do this, and if you're taking my um, a non-duality masterclass, I will show you where to put this particular uh, breathwork in your day to even magnify your ability to attract a win-win situation uh, faster. Because there's certain times of the day and rhythms of your field that when you connect to is a major biohack. So when you do things at at certain peak times where your serotonin is really um, high and you're not dopamine depleted, right? You're going to have a better um, neutralization. It's going to uh, process more viscerally this, this work because ultimately the reason why you're trying and trying and trying, but nothing's happening is because your body doesn't believe you. Your body has seen proof of the opposite. Your body has seen so many times you've tried this. It does not know that this wisdom and this knowledge that you have, that it, that there's new energy to access and that you've done enough work and you've put in enough time and you've given enough and you never needed to be worthy by a letter after your name or a certain amount of hours and classes. Your worth is your ability to demonstrate source energy. That is your work. If all you did all day long was demonstrate source energy in your flavor via your sauce, you would be a match to ultimate wealth because wealth is source energy, right? You may be able to channel a spirit, but how come you can't channel a million dollars, right? And the reason why is because your belief your body becomes the lie it was fed, right? So let's get into it. So our breath work here is so awesome. And again, this is just one tiny fragment of what we're going to be doing in our non-duality masterclass this year. There's a morning routine that is literally going to just anchor your higher self in your body. And then we do the P's, right? Posture. Obviously, what is my character? Who am I? Practice, prepare, play, party, right? It's a bunch of Ps, okay? So, and, and how we do that is through all these forms of method acting techniques, um, physical biohacking in the body to make space for more light. We've got to get the old stories out. Being able to show up different in triggers, right? Uh, working off of a script as if a movie. So if you get frustrated or lost or someone bumps you out of character, you literally can go back and go, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do instead until your body becomes the new you automatically because there is no more need for healing. There is no more need for spiritual learning, right? The inner child is completely enlightened until it is it is programmed away, indoctrinated. It is enslaved into the matrix. Your children know more than you do before they can talk. And then usually by the time they can talk, the parent is spoon feeding the matrix. And so there is a conflict. And then this is why you get that terrible twos, right? Because the conflict is literally the tantrum and the irritability and the um, inconvenience of the inner child not being able to flow and run and do the things that it know it can do. I know when you've seen these superhero movies, you're like, I know I can do that. your body can't. It just has to remember. So if you've done breath work before, you know the rule. This is a very simple breath work. If you've never done breath work before, this is your breath work. It's fast. It's easy. It's simple. You can do it anywhere. 
right? I uh, recommend that you don't use this as a crutch. You use it intentionally. All my alchemy formulas are not designed to be affirmations that you just say to dopamine yourself to feel better. There is a a reason why you're going to do this. Okay. Number one reason is surrender is the seventh step of manifestation. And when you're doing this, you are in surrender. You are saying higher self, Jesus, take the wheel, right? This is where I am. I accept where I am. And I also accept that I'm bigger, that I'm better, that I know more and I feel more and I'm deserving more than I'm getting. And I choose now in 2023 to open up my flow. And when your flow is open, you are safe. Take a breath. (sighs) No one, no one can see you. That's icky when you're in the flow. No one can touch you when you're in the flow. When you are in the flow, whoever gets in your way is either going with you or they're getting kicked out. So you do not need to worry about your safety, about getting into the flow. The flow makes you the most powerful current in the universe. And when you are in opposition, that is a lack of flow. When you have a question, lack of flow, lack of money, lack of flow. So this entire year, we're biohacking flow. We've replaced the word flow with like the word love with flow because A lot of times love is the thing that's blocking your flow, people. So you're going to have to be looking at love a little bit differently. So let's begin. In our quantum two point, we realize that we are the center of the universe, right? We are our own planetary uh, source. We are our own orbit. We have our own field. We're completely self-sovereign. Our body is so specifically designed that it can contain its own Wi-Fi. No charge. Okay. Wi-Fi to the cosmics, Wi-Fi to Mother Earth. Okay. Where is a communication in your heart that is quite telepathic? This ain't telepathic. This is where you're mentalizing memory-based information. Okay. This is where you're telepathic. All right. And so we're going to use our heart to neutralize energy. And we're also going to use our heart to um, wash away the pattern, all right? Now, this is going to be where your inner child is going to have a great time. Your ego is going to dig it because of all the yummy DMT. And your higher self is going to be like, thank goodness, I've been waiting to get in here, all right? So here we begin. We have to first accept that we are the problem and the solution. All right, so I want you to take a deep breath and open up your your legs into a way where your, your root is really opened. We want your root open. So if you're sitting in a chair, kind of put your legs out. If you're sitting Indian style, great. Make sure your your spine is aligned and back. I've got my posture strap under here to keep my my, uh, shoulders really back. And what we're going to do is we're going to just get our position right, right? So our intention is kind of like our form. If you've ever worked out with a trainer, it's form, form, form. Well, if you work with a biohacker, it's intention, 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 okay? So we're going to get our shoulders in the intention of we're someone who is caring about themselves. And we're also here to face this, right? I'm, I'm, I'm here to face the world. My heart chakra is open. My root chakra is open. My throat chakra is open. My crown is open, right? I'm expanded right now. And this is where you don't want to do it like this. You're just going to be pumping a locked valve. This is going to open up your flow. Now, When source energy was flowing through as a child, you had access all the time. This is why kids have so much natural energy. Joy is so easy for them. They're curious. They're um, all these things. And then they become manipulative because they don't want to give up all of those things. Right. So that's your natural state. Curiosity, exploration, adventure. Never was it like, well, I don't have the money. Children don't think like that until they're programmed to think like that. And then when they're thinking like that, they're building stops, blocks, red lights, and that big fat word no becomes their thinking pattern, which means everything they need to do is around no, okay, or I'm not allowed. So what we want to do is start erasing that biochemically in the body. 
And the first thing that we have to do in all addiction to patterns, which is what you are addicted to your patterns, is accept it. Okay. So because you are very powerful and because your body is split into a dualistic, dualistic nature until we integrate completely, then we're going to use both the masculine and the feminine, the, the right feminine, the right, the left, okay, side of the brain and side of the body. We're going to be doing this very, very specific reason. Your right hand, okay, is the masculine. So we want to call this like, this is my right hand man, all right, regardless of your man or woman. My right hand man that is connected to my heart and everything else, okay? My left hand is my feminine, my nurturing, my... Um, multitasking, my ability to do lots of different things at one time, my blueprinting, my desire, my nurturing, my loving creation of, of who I am myself. Like who I am truly is that feminine spark of source energy. How I show up in the world, how I look, how I speak, how I talk, is going to be filtered through the grounding element of a manifestation of the form materialization of man. All right. So I am both feminine and masculine, feminine bodies who choose to be feminine. OK, you could be in a man's body and choose to be feminine. Your brain is going to be different. 60 percent feminine, 40 percent masculine. That's no problem for me to manifest. This is why women are able to do so many things when they have to flip into their masculine and they become ball busters, okay? Boss ladies. But that's coming from a disbalanced uh, flow and you're going to have to work a lot harder and nothing will be consistent over there. What we want to do is return to our center and our balance and say, it's okay for me to be a woman and I'm going to heal that as well. And if you're a man, it's okay for me to be a man and access my feminine. You know, it's not okay to cry. It's not okay to do this. Hell yeah, it is because mother nature reigns. Weather is emotion. One of the matrix's hacks to get into your brain was to tell you that your emotion was bad. So you started suppressing storms and this is why you're sick and broke. Okay. So we're going to open up this. I want you to be shoulders back, open up your root, open up your body. Please be in a safe environment. If you do not have a safe home, go to your car. Okay. If you're at work, go to your car. If you have a, a space in your home, lock the door. You do not want interruptions. Okay. You might get them in the beginning because that's the matrix. But after you've stayed consistent with this, nobody's going to bother you. You do want to give yourself at least three to five minutes to get all the way through this. And this is only to be done once per day, guys. Please do not start abusing this. Otherwise, it just becomes a crutch, addiction, and it starts to backfire. Okay? Once a day, that's it. All right? You don't even need it once a day. I say to use this during your stuck phases or your blocked phases. Don't do this if there's a flow. Okay? Don't try to fix or have more of what's flowing. Allow and be grateful for the flow that's coming. If you're blocked, that's when you really want to do this. Or it could be anything. Time, relationships, health, or money. You do not have the solution. You do this. All right? Shoulders back. Root is open. My, my throat is open. Okay? My right hand man. All right? Right now, I am going to put all of my problems in my right hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a breath. We're going to close our eyes so we can go into our inner universe. And we're going to focus on all of our current, present problems. Things that you still haven't manifested. Deadlines that you don't have solutions to. All of your how questions go in here. How is this going to work? How am I going to pay this? How am I going to get out of this job? How am I going to get him to see me? How am I going to get to 5D? How am I going to heal my body? Put all your how questions. What am I supposed to do? Put them in there. You know, all of your questions, anything, time, relationships, health, money, related to the present moment. All right? Put it in your right hand. Close your eyes. Focus on the problem. Imagine the problem is going into your right hand. It's going to get heavy. It's going to get heavy. Because those problems, see, people believe that thoughts do not weigh anything. Heavy thoughts 
low vibrational thoughts are quite heavy. You'll see the inner hand will literally begin to feel like you're holding something heavy, the more problems you put. But don't, don't worry, keep going, keep going, keep going. Number one biohack, we're getting this out of our body. We're accepting it. We're taking responsibility, ability to respond, and we're putting it in our own hand. There's a lot of intentional metaphors here, right here. Going to get really heavy. And when you feel like that's enough for today, I always put the dire ones in there, like 911, yo, help. Those, especially if I'm going into the how or I feel inspired to dive into action in my circumstances, no. This is your ultimate pause. Surrender, inspired action. Okay. This is your formula for 2023. Put them all in your right hand. Don't let it go to the floor. Do not use gravity. I want you to hold it up. I want you to feel the weight of it. Don't rest it on your leg. Hold it. Be responsible. Listen. See it. Feel it. Guess what? Now that's, that weight is not in your body now. It's in your hand. And if it's in our hands, we can see it. We can feel it. We can heal it. All right? Because I'm creator, and although I did not choose to create these problems, I did it from a conscious space. I did not choose to continue running these loops. You know, I, I got distracted. I got lost. I've been separated from my source, right? There's nothing wrong with these problems. These problems do not define you. These problems do not devalue you. These problems are designed for the inner child in you to be adventure and challenge itself to go into the infinite universe of magic and find the solution, all right? Not find, summons, command, right? Children command until they're taught not to. Hey, feed me, change me, love me, right? Until we're like, that's not okay here. Oh, shoot, I didn't know I could just demand that. Yes, you can. And a person who is very sovereign is very confident in their commanding and what they deserve and who they are. So every part of this breathwork two point is designed to put you back into source energy's character of your highest self and body. All right. Keep them coming. Feel the weight. Do not rest your hand. Rest it. I mean, rest in your hand, not on the ground. Give you a minute to fill it up. All right. Now, your belly might feel a little tingly, opening up a little bit more. Your body might feel lighter, but that hand is pretty heavy. All right. I want you to put it all there. The debt, the hows, the worries, the conflict and the relationships, the worry that you have of your kids or, you know, stuff that's going on in your body. Put it all. Lay it all on your right hand. This is you. This is your right hand. All right. Your support system. Taking it out of the body allows us to see it and feel it easier. When it's all mixed in your organs and stuff, you really can't feel how heavy this is. All right. We're just la allowing it to be there. So because you are alchemy, all of me, and an alchemist is one who turns lead into gold, then by simultaneously creating the problem, we also create the solution. And we want to do this in a playful way. Because this is not about who you are. This is about what you've allowed. This is about what slipped through your consciousness. This is about you trying your best, you doing the right thing, you showing up in love the way you were taught. This is you protecting yourself. This is also you sabotaging yourself because it's no fun, right? It's no fun to be here. So there's a lot of things that have created all of this. And none of it is to be judged. It's just to be sorted. See, those are your best friends who you go, hey, I have a problem. And they're like, I don't care. Let's figure it out. See, that's your left hand. Your left hand is your higher self. It is, it is what's left. All right? It is everything but this problem. It is the infinite, infinite universe. Okay? And so what I want you to do is kind of reach up in a metaphor of 
of reaching towards the sky or reaching towards higher self or reaching towards the mountaintop or reaching towards the sun. And the metaphor is really about you showing up 50-50, putting your hand out and receiving people. When you're here, you don't want to receive because you don't want anyone to know. Your pride is like, oh, I don't want to be problems, right? So here it is like exposed and vulnerable, heart open, throat open, crown open, root anchor, okay? We are here. Solar plexus is going to be doing some work for us, okay? Demonstrate. Sacral is opening, divine masculine and feminine working together in unity. We're about to create an orgasm, okay? Problem, solution. So what you're going to do is you're going to say from the most loving place that I am, I call forth all solutions possible and accessible in my path of least resistance and in my divine magical self. And you can create these words however you want, really put the solution in my hand, people give it to me, right? I'm going to call forth this solution and I am going to allow and receive. I don't need to know what the solution is. I don't need to know how it's going to show up. I don't even know when. I don't need to know when. I just need and, uh, and desire and want and deserve and am worthy for every and all solutions to my problems so that I can create balance. And in balance, I can create foundation. And in foundation, I can create my new world instead of creating constant problems and solutions. All right, so we're gonna be calling forth the solution. I call forth all infinite possibilities to come to me in my body, in my heart, in my gut, and in my mind to show me through vision, through imagination, through circumstance, through events, through people, and through places. I allow all forms of abundance. I allow all forms of currency. I allow all support that can come, that will and desires to come forth that is a match. Rumi says, what you seek is seeking you, which means that the solution is seeking its own problem. But when you have a problem and you hide it, and then you go in physical reality to look for the solution, then you find a solution that matches the problem because it's a mirror out there. So you might have an instant solution that turns into a bigger problem. So I would do this before you make any calls, you transfer any money, you go save somebody, you go you know, show up really fast. This isn't where you go get a new job. This is where you take a moment and go into the center of your universe and correct your algorithm or into your own alignment, people. Problem solution. All right. Now we're going to do nothing with this, except let this be here. You're going to feel the lightness of this, how much lighter it is. It's not heavy. It feels tingly light. Like you could hold this forever, even though your hand is above gravity. Notice gravity should make it heavier, but see all light is photonic and it's information and it's weightless. This is where you're waiting. This is where you're carrying weight. All right, problem solution. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start our generator, right? Because your source energy channeling might be rusty. You might be able to give it to anybody else, but calling forth yourself might be rusty. So we're going to start doing this by pumping source energy into your body manually. Breath in every other language means spirit. And if you ever want to get out of your ego very quickly, do breath work for a few minutes, okay? Because once spirit is in your body and your whole body is tingling and there's DMT created, well, guess what? DMT is how plants talk to each other and it's going to be how we talk to the universe. So you want a slight bit of DMT moving through the body so that all the cells can actually hear the solutions, okay? The cells will hear the solutions before you do. The muscles will hear the solutions before you do. Your organs will be like, thank you, right? Everything is in frequency code. And your ego is so attuned to language that you don't even know the solution is downloading into your body through this process. All right. So problem, solution. We're going to begin our breath. 